the ultimate fight and the wait of a lifetime. It's won thousands of people like Aaron Thorne and his wife Kelly face each day. Recently, within the last month or so, has been in desperate need of a kidney. She's in final stages of renal failure. Thorne's wife has polycystic kidney disease. She's currently undergoing testing to qualify to even get on the national organ donation list. Meanwhile, 3,000 people are added to the list every month. Uh, about 95,000 of the 116,000 are patients waiting for kidneys. Andy Johnson with Life Center in Cincinnati says more people are donating organs because of heightened awareness and education. Still, every day, 22 people die waiting for a life-saving transplant. Now the Trump administration wants to make the donation system more transparent and accountable. OPOs and transplant centers have different metrics, and so I think it really is um, about coming together and determining what are those metrics so that more lives can be saved. According to the Organ Procurement and Transplantation Network, one in five donated kidneys are thrown out due to high barriers in the U.S. 44-year-old Tysha Wilder was diagnosed with lupus at age 25. A few years later, her daughter was born premature. When she was about four, I had a stroke. And so that's what really kicked off my kidney disease. Then her kidneys began to fail. The mom of an active nine-year-old and wife does dialysis at home while she waits for a match. She says the key is to remain hopeful. You know, if it's happening for one person, it could happen for you. Well, the Trump administration's new rules would not only procure more organs from deceased donors, but also encourage more living donors to see if they qualify to help. Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.